Emergencia Intercom. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. Um, do you want to let the people know where we are? I don't know where we are. We are in Teplos... No, Teposlan. I always say it wrong. I say it different every single time. Yeah. We are in Teposlan, Mexico right now. I, just, I needed to say it with all the accents because I know one of you bitches would say something dirty about me if I yep. didn't. Yeah. We just ran away because we feel like American people don't understand us. Like They don't get us. And never we, have, never will. Yeah. I've found my people. <laughs> Literally Christopher Columbus. <laughs> <laughs> Me on my colonizer vibe. Um, Drew did say he's going to come here. And <laughs> no, I saw a plot of land about an hour outside of Mexico City, and I was like, I'm going to buy that plot of land and make Drewtopia. The thing is, uh, Drew ju- uh, Kai just knocked into the camera, but that's okay. We'll just ignore it. Kai gets a pass because I've been too mean to him this trip, so Inya I can't be mean to him joking. has been actually okay, mean to Kai. Um, actually Also, mean. wait, before we pass over it, we're literally less than a minute into this episode and you're already talking about colonizing Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally less than a minute. It's in my fucking blood. It's in my DNA. I literally can't help it. I'm sorry. Um, I just want to openly admit to the public and apologize to the public because I feel so evil. I was really mean to Kai yesterday because... <sighs> I was just a, to be fair. I've been mean to Elisa too. I've just not been a nice girl. I have it's, not it's been a been, nice girl. It's been a, li- a rough trip for you. I feel. <gasps> you know, thank you for validating me. Yeah. Thank you for validating. Me. It, it's, it's been, been you're fun. The, you're, you've just been our translator the whole time. It's just been. I've been. I've been serving. Mommy vibes. Um, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> they're shooting. <laughs> oh, what was that? Was it a firework? Uh, it was a salute. A firework. Um, but yeah, we. What time is it? It probably marked the hour. <laughs> yeah, it's a mar- okay, at 5.44 every day in Tepestan, it bombs. <laughs> bombs um, go off. Okay, wait, actually, I'm, like, all over the place because I'm very, like, overwhelmed. Um, and I have had half a margarita, and I had to stop myself for the other half because I was like, I'm going to be belligerently drunk <laughs> on the podcast. And I was like... Which might be fun. I already just slip up and say... Sh- I don't say bad things, but I already say things where I'm like... I should not have said yeah, that. Yeah, I shouldn't be saying that to the public. <laughs> um... <laughs> But to explain why we're in Mexico, we are in we are staying in Mexico City, um, but Jester is a fucking freak of and nature. Somehow convinced us to cross the border. Yeah, somehow convinced us to, to go, go to international another another country for their birthday, which was over a week ago. Yes. So there's like no. <laughs> so real- their birthday was a week ago, and we're still celebrating it here. But I love it here. Yeah, it really is amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Honduran, <laughs> um, and I haven't been to Honduras since I was literally a little baby. I think I don't think I've been back since I was seven, and this is the closest thing I could get to it because my family has fear mongered me to stay out of Honduras. But yeah, this place is beautiful. Um, I've literally been here for 24 hours, and I leave tomorrow. I flew in. Inya, Lisa, and Jester shopped all day, and I followed them around with Kai all day long, and then we kind of are leaving the next day like we we oh this is the this is the craziest part is we planned on getting here hella early this area Um, we wanted to shop around we wanted to have a blast of a time we wanted a good time like get some micheladas or micheladas how do you say michelada yeah get some of those um get a little drunk listen to the bombs go off uh (laughs) just taking the scenery um but enya drove us literally two hours away she drove us <laughs> two hours away from where we were supposed to be and we pulled so, up no to be fair it was an extra hour past where we were supposed to be so i didn't get us two hours away from where we were supposed to be because it only took 30 minutes to get here so technically how much time did i really waste like an hour yeah like an hour and a half like maybe not even though no no, not Because there was still traffic to get out of the city. But basically, I fucked up very hard. And now I don't get to go through the markets like I wanted to. Because my one, my one wish was to come and get a nice rosary. Because I have been looking to repurchase the I know the there's rosary. a body in there. Bitch, you're Cecil thinking Hotel. GTLA. L- L- C- Cecil Hotel. Um, I, your body's about to be in here if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Um, but yeah, I, I fucked up and I was so mad. I've just been so fucking irritable this trip. Like, I, we don't even have insane. topics to talk about because we were like, let's talk about the trip. But the trip, like, it feels like we've been here forever. 
Not even for me. It feels like I've been here for eight minutes total because I've been yelled at the entire time. You know what it was? Okay, I've never had to, like, go anywhere into Spanish-speaking territory and had to, like, translate for people. And I know one of you bitches is going to be like, oh, but, like, talk Spanish now. We want to hear how your Spanish is. No, because you're going to fucking bully me. Fuck you. <laughs> um, my Spanish is... My my mom only speaks Spanish and all of my family only speaks Spanish, but my dad speaks English, so I grew up speaking English and Spanish, and obviously my English is slay tonic. Like I'm, I make up see slay tonic. I make up new words in English. Yeah, that's true. I can't do that for Spanish. Um, Un piojo en mi culo. Um so yeah, I've been translating for these dumb fucks. <laughs> um and I didn't I didn't know it would be hard work, you know? Yeah, you've been saying that you're not ready for children. Um, yeah. Just the sheer amount of questions and pointing to things and <laughs> asking for what it means, like, not okay. It's just too many questions, like, which, I was thinking, I was like, damn, I never want to go anywhere where, like, I'm burdening somebody with the language barrier. Like, does that make sense? Like, but I don't know any other country that are, no one in our group speaks any other language. Like, it's not like anybody in the group speaks, um, like, French or I've anything. I've been... Sp- on Duolingo, practicing Swahili, so... You, uh, Drew, in 2018, in 2018, four years ago, he tried to learn Swahili for literally three days on Duolingo, and he brings it up <laughs> twice a month. Like, he... I'm just better than that. No, I'm better than everybody bit. else. Give us a little bit of it. No. Why not? I don't know. I just feel like we're in Mexico. Like, so you shouldn't, like, mix. Yeah. But you're here, so we're already mixing. What's been your favorite part? Oh, Drew went out without me last night because he hates me because yeah. everyone was mad at me. No, not everyone was mad at you. You were mad at everybody else and Miss Complainer. Um, My tummy hoided. My she, tummy really hoided. She got a tummy ache and took it out on everybody else. And me and Kai were begging y'all to come with us we were literally I begging am pizza y'all bae. like i just need some pizza in my hole and then i'm a nice girl and i'll do a little dance but if i'm hungry you don't want to see me when i'm hungry and without a coffee yeah. so tell us about the night like what we what'd you get up to like um, was it the most fun you've ever had because you didn't have like your girlfriend uh, no, holding you it was absolutely a fucking blast it was, I went it was the night to remember i think of the entire trip i don't think it actually got any better than that moment No, but it'll get better tonight because mm, we're all maybe every, not. everyone in the crew is gonna get really maybe drunk and have Sloppy sacks. I really don't think that's going to happen. I think it, I think last night was peak, right? Except, you know, I, okay, yeah, maybe it won't beat it because I will say, like, I know I offered sex, but you know when we were coming across the border and you had to, like, declare things? Yeah. Um, they, like, looked down and they were like, oh, that big, that big, that big ass coochie has to be declared that, before those you come to the country. And and, yeah, my hooters and coochie. And when I was crossing, they like they like weighed it and they were like, oh, it's too heavy and voluptuous and like. I get that all the time really, on the airplanes. They were like, oh, why is it so wet? Is do you have like an alcohol or substance you're trying to like bring over? And I was like, no, 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 no. Like that's just me. That's just my body part. Like I can't really stop it. And they did make me leave my coochie. In the U.S. Damn, they, they did the same back. thing to me with my heavy wiener. With your big boner? Yeah, you know how they weigh the bags? Yeah. Um, well, like, I, I... Well, what they don't tell you is that the 3D scan chamber is <laughs> the radiation den, as I call it. They give you insane amounts of radiation. Um, is also a scale for male genitalia, wieners. And I... Unfortunately, this time for some reason did not pass, and I almost didn't make it. It's but probably because you them. stuffed it. You wanted it to seem heavier. Because I don't no. believe you. How how can you get on a plane anywhere else, but you didn't get to come to Mexico with your big wiener, with your big honking wiener? I've been trying to have sex the entire <laughs> time I've been here. All of y'all are fucking fake. All of y'all are like, I'm trying to bone. I want to bone. Bone what? Oh my god, Kai! Kai is so horny. He literally somehow put holograms in our head of a, a woman, and she didn't exist. I'm convinced oh, she did not fucking exist. Oh, I forgot exist. about that. Literally, Kai, do you mind mass if we hallucination, expose this? mass hallucination event. Um, <laughs> we went to this like bar restaurant thing called Jin Jin. It was yeah. a classic. That's a certified Mexico City classic. Next time you hear, go um, because the drinks are literally insane. Um, Maybe it was something in the hookah also. <laughs> like, they literally probably dosed us with fucking hallucinogens in our hookah. I was It's the chiefing. most foreigner shit you've ever said. Maybe it was something in the hookah. I was chiefing that hookah all night fucking Oh, long. okay. No, actually, we got... We ordered a hookah thing, which I don't fuck with hookah. I think it's, like, funny. But we 
ordered it. And tell me why Kai and Drew hit the fucking tip raw. Like, they were putting on replacement tips for every table, obviously, because it's like wood. And I don't think you can necessarily disinfect wood very well. And literally, the, you're a fiend because the second they put it in your hand, you mm. fucking suck the shit out of it. I need and the nicotine. The waiter, I like, need DD looks. The, the waiter looked at us like we were literally on map. He <laughs> ran across the restaurant and was like, hold the fuck on. <laughs> like, chill. Freakazoid. Um, so yeah, so we went to this like hookah bar, like alcohol bar, whatever. And Kai was like, uh, like oddly like silent. So I was sitting next to him and there was a table behind us or behind me. And apparently there was this girl looking at Kai constantly. Like they would like lock eyes or whatever. And I was like, yeah, yeah, right. Like, that's not happening. You're making this up. Like, this is a hallucination. You need help. <laughs> so I moved spots, and I switched over, and I did see love in the air. It, there was a connection there. I'm convinced she was literally jerking the boy off next to her because her hand was under the table for way too long. That was not a straight man. That was not a straight yeah, man. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. It was, like, three girls with three guys. Yeah. I don't think it was a straight man. But they, they were locking eyes like crazy. It was actually kind of beautiful to see a couple times. I was like, wow, like, I may find love. Actually, you know what? It wasn't real. None of it happened. <laughs> That's Kai what lied. I'm saying. Kai lied. I listen to this. I come back to the table. I'm like, why did you move to Drew? And Drew literally said to me, he was like, Kai said this girl's looking at him, but I haven't seen her look over <laughs> here once. So then we are cracking up and whatever. We get the bill. We leave. And Kai's like Let's get the bill. spazzing. He's like, I, I should have went and said something to her. I should have went and said something to her. And all of us were like pretty drunk. So I was like, okay, do you have a pen? Like, just go. Get, like, Kai was like, I'm going to give her my number, but I don't have a pen. I was like, I'll get us a pen. So I went back into the restaurant, went to the hostess and explained. And I was like, do you have a pen? Because my friend wants to give someone Let's his number. So I, I won't bill. take your pen. I just Let's need to borrow it. And she was like smiling. She was like, oh, my God, like 4th of July or 4th of July. <laughs> February 4th. Valentine's Day. Damn. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is coming up. Like, of course. Valentine's and Day. And gave me the pen. Kai was too fucking nervous to even write his damn number. I had to write his, the number. And I <laughs> followed in there as Intel. I was yeah. back up first, Intel second to see if he actually um, did it. And we went in, and <laughs> literally she was gone. She vanished into thin fucking air. Like, it wasn't even like she was there. Like, her chair was pushed in. There was no jacket in the chair. Like, it was literally like she never existed. No, you know what it was? She was scared of shit. She wasn't <laughs> the looking pink at man. Yeah. The pink man wants me. The killer. The pink killer. <laughs> the killer is here. Like, she didn't see love. She was like, oh, my God, this scary white dude is literally going to fucking chase after me not, and murder me. Not us following her. To go, not us seeing if, the ba if she was up in the bathroom area. <laughs> <laughs> like we ran up there. Or she was literally in the stall shaking for her fucking <laughs> life. She's like, do you think they'll He's come coming. in? He's coming. I hear his footsteps. <laughs> He's coming. Um, she, she felt the way we did in that Home Alone game. Literally. Like, she, she felt like she was playing a horror game simulator on Oculus. She was hiding Oculus. in the stall. Um, but I commend Kai on going back in there and being brave enough to speak to a woman because I'm scared of women. I and so is Kai. I want to you be brave. Um... Audio technician is everything good? Alright, cool. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard it, but Kai just considered what we did exposure therapy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this well, podcast I mean, any, is. Anytime we go out, it's exposure therapy, I think. Not me. I'm literally living, laughing, loving. I I'm fucking slaying the world here. I spoke to a man from Amsterdam last night who is staying in a hostel and was his a like hospital hostel and his four um friends that he was with um disappeared apparently he was like there i don't know where they went and i was like can you describe them and he was like tall man uh with a beard and i was like so sexy and then he <laughs> <laughs> you're literally hornier than ever <laughs> you start uh, sniffing you're like <laughs> <laughs> you ask for him. you ask for his hand. You like when's the last time you touched him? He's like maybe five minutes ago, and you smell I the hand smell again. Smell him, <laughs> um, and then he. I was like, why don't you go like look for him inside? And because he was outside, and he was like, I, I don't know, like. I was walking downstairs to go look, and I knocked a glass, and it exploded, and then this, like, <laughs> Brazilian girl came up to me and gave me molly, and so I took the molly, and I'm also, like, on... C word. I don't know if I'm allowed to say any of this shit. Coke. 
Um, and then he was like, but like, it's okay because like when I get home to the Airbnb, I'm going to take Valium to go to sleep. And I was like, you need to fucking chill is what you need to do. Like you need to leave. No, he didn't, and then fuck, he was, he didn't have friends. He doesn't have a hostel. He's hallucinating. It was actually horrifying. Um, the way he was behaving is very erratic. Um, and then a more conversation happened some things that I don't want to talk about happened on the podcast. Um, and we went back down there to see if we could find his homies for him. Uh, and we like went in and followed him in and he like freaked out. Like he <laughs> tweaked out. He was like, I can't go in there. I can't go in there. And we were like, why dude? And he was like, I, I just can't, I can't, I can't. And then he like, was like, I'm going to the bar. And so me and Kai were like, okay, I'm literally running away. This is like Luca Magnata. He's going to try to fucking kill us. Like <laughs> he's literally the killer. Um, well, I got asked to do a wire transfer when I told someone I didn't have any cash. <laughs> um, a man tried to sing to me and I told him to stop um, because I didn't have any more cash because I had just bought cash. Uh, I just bought chocolates off the sweetest kids in the fucking world. Um, and then I told him I didn't have any more cash and he literally looked me dead in the eyes and said, I take transfer. Like, I take wire transfer. That was insane. It was, it was pretty... I Okay. <laughs> it is fireworks though. I saw it. <laughs> Me as if it was gonna be anything. Okay. What else. time? What time is it now? Your mama. Uh, no. What time is it on your phone? Oh, it's six o'clock. See, okay, that mark, and that was six explosions <laughs> for six o'clock. See, <laughs> I might be a fucking genius. My IQ is. I don't strange. know if that's how that works. I think people are just having fun. That yeah. did scare the living ball sacks out of yeah. me. Also, it's just so beautiful here. Look how I, fucking pretty this I know. view is. I, I hope the camera's picking it up. I honestly feel very disruptive by being here and talking about cock and balls on top of like this roof. Also, we asked somebody if we could stay on the roof of a hotel, so that's where we are. We're yeah. not staying at this hotel. We just asked him, um, and he let us. But honestly, probably because I'm really sexy. Yeah. Honestly. You know what it is? Also, I don't get hit on in LA, and I get hit on and looked at here, and I'm like, I, I get cat called here too. Um, we were walking at a gingin. A man just looked me in the eyes and said, "Oi, mujer," <laughs> and like yelled that in my face. And usually I'd be really fucking annoyed, but I was feeling myself. And I was like, yes, I am woman. I am woman. <laughs> I am woman. I am baby. Um, I am sexy. I'm divine. Also, I like, I, I, I hope nothing I'm saying sounds like very like ignorant and annoying of me. But I have been so terrified of getting the cacas from the water here. It's like the, the one thing on my mind. Like everywhere I go, I'm like, don't, please don't give me ice. Please don't give me a cup of water. <laughs> Um, I didn't tell you this, but I did accidentally swish water around in my mouth when I was brushing my teeth because I forgot. But that was the first night, and that's why I think my stomach hurt so bad yesterday because I did have rumbly guts like I haven't before. Like, it was a usual stomachache where I'm, like, bloated and something hurt, but my fucking colons were, were literally, literally vibrating. Twerking. Like, if I put my colon to my clit, I would have... It would have been a Whoa. mess. Because they were vibrating. Do you get it? Yes. Like a vibrator. Yes, we got it. Do you think I should get a vibrator while I'm here? A little wing bot. A little wing bot junior. A little turkey wing. Um. What else can we fucking talk about? Like, this shit's boring. This podcast is fucking boring. It's taking time out of my fucking day. Um. Driving here is also pretty crazy. <laughs> um. It's fucking awesome. I have so much fun doing it. But the merging is like comical to me like again i hope nothing i like i don't know if it's like ignorant it definitely is just culture it's shock. just culture shock. but like the driving was cracking me up like we were uh, there's just no lanes in the road yeah I'm some of the roads like literally lanes. have zero lanes and you have Stay to be in your an, own lane you have to be an aggressor here which I am because I fear no fucking man. I've said it once. I say it again. Like only you I can take me out. Thirty six thousand times. You can. Say I'm just it. letting the world know. Like y'all be manifesting like good health and like slay. I'm manifesting that I would be the one to take me out. I'm almost in my physical fighting era. Like I'm almost to the point where like I want to get in a brawl, like a physical brawl. Why? What's pushing you there? I don't know. I just like felt I'm it. I'm rubbing off on you. Like low key. Like I'm Shit. just feeling like I need to be in a fight and have my ass beat and be humbled. At the end of the day. See, that's that's where we're different because I don't want to be humbled. I want to beat the shit out of someone. But I would, I do think some like blunt force trauma to the head would help me a little bit. Yeah. Like, I've thought about that. I'm like, I need a bit of like a dome reset. Like, 
where like it feels like um like a nuke went off in my brain or like a flashbang from call of duty like that's kind of the feeling i want in my Ooh, brain a little wait, bit wait the way i'm not even joking last night we hung out with bella hadid no oh. we hung out with the spanish dub cast of euphoria they were all there they were all there and we hung out with all of them how'd you find that out like did they just like they brought it up really yeah i would ride that shit too wait the whole the whole cast the spanish dub so it was like 13 like of a crew like it was chilling? An, it was not rolling 13 deep it was like three people so who was it like rue see it's not for the fucking minutes dumb boy I am woman, I am But you're not, like, going deeper on that. Like, what do you mean? Did they, like... How did they prove that? Like, how did... Like, I don't understand. They showed themselves in the recording booths. They showed... They could have been in any single recording booth on planet Earth. Did it have, like, Euphoria watermarks on it? They showed uh, them reading, um... What's his name? Jacob Alardi's lines. But you could find those on the internet now. Okay. Well, did they wait? Did they show you the episode that's coming? They were out like soon? fifty pesos for a photo, and we gave them the money and took pictures with them. You got scammed. No, we got pictures with the cast of Euphoria. <laughs> no, I think you got scammed. Or like, there's no. no. <laughs> Can I see the Me picture? Me getting scammed. Can I see the picture? Did they also take it on their phone? Me getting scammed. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is there, are you actually about to show me a photo? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Kai's laughing really hard. So, like, is this a planned bit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's literally me and Euphoria cast. Am I wrong? No, you're literally showing, like, early signs of Alzheimer's right now. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say to that. Like, I need that on screen so people know that I'm not being a Kai. I just don't know what to say to that. <laughs> and woman. You know what's really annoying is maybe I should have gotten drunk. Wait. Wait, how does it go? Yes. No. Fuck, wait. It's You're really fucking bad. I'm a little nasally. You're like tone deaf. <laughs> 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 like am I tripping or was this well, really no, bad? I'm singing in my head voice and I don't have a head voice. I can sing in my chest. No, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> yep, yep. See, that was good. Fuck me, man. You want me to? I can't get my ground to like <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, But we did go to this really cool club that just had a bunch of people dancing. In, in I know. I will say I am really jealous. Like, we have to go out tonight because I just ruined my well, night. Well, we do have an event to go to tonight. It's called Pervert. <laughs> dress code. It's called Pervert. Dress code is bondage. Are you, tr- are you trolling? I'm not trolling. It's bondage. <laughs> recommended but not required but i think we go to a sex shop all dress up in bondage we get really close and personal with each other really like explore each other's bodies and see us wait, for wait, what wait. we like truly us are like explore each other's bodies i yes. can see who you are without touching you you also stink I you haven't showered <laughs> like you literally went out last night and didn't fucking shower and in the car today was like every now and then i get a whiff of rotten <laughs> <just> cabbage <laughs> <laughs> and all of no. us are like, we don't smell that. You're smelling yourself. No, there's there's like a scent of sauerkraut <laughs> following me everywhere I go. No, and it's your, not my it's balls. It's literally your fucking upper lip and your balls. <laughs> no, I swear to God, Kai knows what I'm talking about. No, I think Kai might have smelled you last night. <laughs> no, see? But did you smell it in the car? I, I did smell. It was Drew. <laughs> it's still Drew. Do you like the smell, kinda? It does smell good. It does smell good. It gets me kind of horny. Uh, it's my. Talk about the thing where people were dancing in the circles. Yeah, that's what you just showed me. Oh, yeah. They were having the most human experience I've ever seen in my entire life. It was gen- It was pure 
what it, what is the word like pure euphoria. pure pure euphoria it was like pure like innocence like really just i the only way i can describe it is just like humans it was the least pretentious exactly expression of happiness and celebration i've ever seen it was beautiful the least pretentious um celebration of happiness why are you repeating so, i think he, I, like, like 18, he was her he's 18 miles away I'm you need to no. You voice. need to let our white men have his voice oh, heard. You're no, speaking over don't. white men. No, voices. we fucking don't. Do not snap. We do not need another white voice. Look at you. I'm you the white voice. Have, yeah, you I'm have, the white voice in this podcast. I will. Say, I am also the white voice. I'm the female white voice. You're the male white voice. We need to be heard. I need to be seen. I need to be loved. I need to be fondled with a little bit, like my. Butt I cheeks. see the type of person that you. I see the type of person that you are. You're looking through me. <laughs> you know. Also, I feel bad. This episode isn't really. I don't know what we've talked about. We're literally just talking. I think it's a miracle that we even got this spot because, um, like In I the said, crib I've just been up. so fucking. <laughs> oh, wait, Elisa. Do you think Elisa will be mad if I say what happened to her? Uh. If anything, we'll cut it. Yeah, it's not, it's not even that big of a deal. Okay, so I feel bad because no, this is the second episode in a in a row where I'm airing Elisa's shit out, like, and she listens to these literally. Mm. Wait, Elisa. No, she got a DM <laughs> saying like, I don't care that you choose loud. No, she got a comment. Someone publicly was like, "You're so hot. I don't care if you chew loud as fuck." Like, um, and she she hasn't watched that episode yet, so she was like, "What is that? Why are they <laughs> saying are they that to me?" To? Um. But I'm gonna air her out again because that's my girl and that's what I do. Even though I've been so mean to her, she was she's been asking me a lot of questions because her phone's been broken, <laughs> and I feel so bad. I literally like she'll ask me something and then at this point I just be lying and saying exactly what she like doesn't want to hear. Like she was like, what did she ask? Oh, she asked if we were going 140 miles an hour. <laughs> No, the fucking rinky dinkity ass car, fucking gadget, baby clown, pioso fucking car we have does not go 140 miles per hour. Okay, no. It starts shaking when we hit 40 miles per hour. <laughs> we it's were going, not going 140 kilometers an hour or per meter. I don't know what, I don't know what the fucking like thing is here. Like, I don't understand it. But on the dash, it said 140. And I was like, I need to slow down because the speed limit Two is 90 dash. and I'm doing 180 like, or going? 140. And she was like, are we actually going? We're not miles going light hour. speed right now, Lisa. No. <laughs> and I got like upset. And it's the, at the way that she's of... literally the smartest person I know. I know. <laughs> she asked that. I was like, really? And so I got upset, and I was like, yeah, actually, we're going 140. I'm gonna see if I can hit 160. Like, I just like start answering her like that. That's how I answer you, and you, you're like, should we be walking in the middle of the road while there's a car trying to go? And I'm like, yeah, like I think we should be. It's like really fun. And sometimes I, get run I say over. instead of like, because I don't want to be like, get out of the road. Yeah. Um, so I say it because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm bossing them around, specifically men. Yeah, because I do have a problem with female authority. No, you have a problem with authority, period. But specifically with me because it's on some brother-sister shit and you it don't really want to be told is. what to it do really from is. me. And I'm boss baby. I am baby boss. You're giving pizza bay boss baby. I am. I'm giving pizza angry bay, boss baby. Pizza bay boss baby with a mustache tattoo on their finger. I'm giving, I'm giving like. Galaxy tights everybody pizza doesn't, bay. Nobody wants to make a decision because nobody wants to say what they want. So then I just make the decision and then I feel like some people are mad at me. So then I get mad at everyone else. Mm, what I, was I saying about Elisa? Oh, sorry. I don't think. Ow. I literally just scratched myself way too fucking hard. That literally hurt so bad. Speak. I don't even remember what the fuck you, I was saying. Because I was talking about making decisions and people being mad at me. Um, What decision did you make that people are mad at you over? No, just in general. I'll be like, we're doing this. We're doing this. Go here. Then we do this. Um, I think people... I, I mean, personally, I like being told where to go and where to be. But, like, yeah, I don't know. I literally was just like, I don't have a, a problem with authority. And now I'm like, please boss me around. See, I'm a walking conundrum. <laughs> We need to get, you know what we should get here? Um, Tram it all from the pharmacy? Yeah, no, we shouldn't. We shouldn't do that. <laughs> I should don't know we, what that should is. we do that, You guys? keep saying that, and I don't know what that is. You don't want to know. <laughs> oh, ew. You should grow up because it's actually really gross that you want those things. Oh, I but, would never. But airing Elisa out. So Elisa's allergic to alcohol. Um, but we all went out to drink, and she had a drink. 
and then she had another one and like she usually gets like red and like like very hot and like has an allergic reaction to it but she wasn't so she was like fuck it i'm gonna keep going but the drinks were like getting us all like drunk as alcohol does and she got really really drunk and like literally was stumbling in the streets of mexico city it was crazy Um, i've never seen her drunk yeah i've never seen her drunk either and then we got back to the crib and i remember right before we went to sleep me and elisa are sharing a room right before we went to sleep she was like oh i'm really worried that i wake up with a headache tomorrow and then like i'm like i feel sick and i don't want to go out and like goes like shopping and stuff and i was like girl if anything, you'll wake up with a little headache from a like small hangover. We'll pop a fucking croissant in your ass and you'll keep it pushing. The thing is, every time I speak, Drew like sings over me. It's no, it's like beautiful background vocals. Like it's adding to the story. It literally is. It's, it's be- adding no, it's ambience. because you have a defect ambience. in your brain where you need attention on you at all waking moments. No, it's literally not even that. I guess this this was literally Elisa's euphoria. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So she got all fucked up. We went to a rave. It was fucking awesome. She was like, sh- but she was like shaking before we went to bed. And then I just went to sleep and I woke up. Also, for more context, you're so annoyed. Here. For more context, um, our bathroom, there's a window in it. And every time you Scary open and close the fuck. door, it slams the window. And I like just kept hearing that. And I heard Elisa walking back and forth in the room to her bed and back to the bathroom. And then I just woke up at like five and it sounded like she had shoes on. Oh my and God. I- I forgot, literally, I, you, like, actually traumatized me. Okay, let me finish, let me get there, and then oh you can tell that part. God. Um, So, I, I like, just woke up, and I was like, are you wearing shoes, like, inside right Wait, now? I, I know and- it's annoying for me to interrupt, but actually, like, just look behind you at the mountains. It's, like, legitimately the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, that over there does not look real. I mean, it's like, literally... You say that, but you're sitting right in front of me. Ignore that. That was like God saying run away from you immediately. <laughs> it was it was it was God trying to feed you from the love I have to give you. But um and now I forgot what I was fucking saying. Elisa in the bathroom. Oh yeah, she was literally I woke up and I was like, Are you wearing shoes? And she was like, No, I feel really sick and I, I like open my eyes and look and she's like basic borderline butt naked, shaking like hard as shit. Also, for more context is like I have this, I have this too, but like, I am very sure Elisa has it worse than me. Like a fear of throwing up and like hearing people throw up. So I thought she was shaking from like being so scared to throw up, but I felt so bad. And I like called Drew to me. <laughs> the worst meal. No, it was the best shit I've no, eaten. No, it was this fucking delicious. <laughs> like it was the most delicious thing I've ever put in my fucking hole in my life. I look over this is what Drew's looking at. It's a plate of beans and eggs. It like was Susan. delicious, but it's so funny looking. <laughs> um. Anyway, okay, and then I called Drew. I really can't live in the moment, can I? <laughs> Are you looking back literally yesterday and being like, that was a dream? That was such a good day. <laughs> I wish today was that good. <laughs> I wish I could experience yesterday, today. Okay, so I call you because... Also, the place we're staying in, the rooms are separated. Like, you have to go outside and then, like, go to other rooms. So, I was calling Drew to ask for help. And this was, what was it, 4.30 in the morning? No, this was, like, 5 a.m. It was the scariest moment of my life. Like, I get a call from Inya, and it also is, for some reason, (laughs) my phone vibrated, which I don't know why it was vibrating. I had the ringer on, and it was such a weird vibrate that, like... I'm, I'm in a bunk bed and my phone somehow got on the wood floor and it literally vibrated my entire fucking bed and my hole and I it was like so fucking scary. It felt good though? Yeah, no, it like stimulated me. Um, and it, I woke up and I was already having a nightmare. I do not remember the nightmare at all, but I was, I was already having like a horrific dream and my phone woke up and I was like, oh my God, like this is, that was so scary. Like, who is it? And I looked and it was Inya calling me and I was like, why the fuck is Inya calling me at 4.30 in the morning? Like something is going on. And I answer it and I hear literally like tapes, like cassette tape, like, like crackling and like, like kind of like a, al- what is it called? Um, vinyl. Yes. Like vinyl album. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> like vinyl album, like, um, cracking. And it, 
I'm like, hello? <laughs> I like him yelling at Annie. I'm like, hello? And also, I don't get an answer. On my side, I also hear nothing, but I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I, Anyways, like, I'm just like, I, I called it. I called him to wake him up because I texted him. And I was like, he's definitely dead asleep. A call will wake him up. And that's why I called him. So I'm a fucking genius and it worked. But I'm I was like, literally I'm like, hello? <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And, 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 and I say hello even again, like even more angry. And I'm like, why the fuck is she not answering? And then in my like sleep deprived, like, <laughs> like half awake, half asleep brain, I was like, Oh my God, Inya got like taken, and like this is her like last like moments, like uh, like the, her last hurrah to get like her location out there. So I like stayed on the phone for literally 14 seconds because I read or heard somewhere that like if you stay on the phone for 14 seconds, like they can track your location. Um, and I was stayed on the call for 21, 21 seconds, seconds. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, okay, like I need this so they can triangulate her location. Um, and then I blew, like, she blew up my phone in text and I was like, okay, she's alive. Yeah. I was just trying to see if we could go get her anti-nausea medicine. Um, because she, I felt Girl, so I bad. was not getting out of that fucking bed. Like <laughs> you know. could not have I convinced me. I kept me. telling her, I was like, what do you feel? And she was basically just saying what you feel when you have too much alcohol. And in my head, I was like, I know what she needs is to like throw up and then get a good meal in the morning and yeah. water. So I went and got water from Drew and gave her water. And I was like, I'll give it five minutes. Cause I know damn well, I'm going to go get in that fucking car to drive the 25 minutes to the only pharmacy open. Mm. And she's going to throw up while I'm gone. Um, and You're I just gonna watched throw her throw up while I'm gone. <laughs> I just watched her I'm hobble gone. back and forth. While I'm um, gone. shaking and then she ended up throwing up and she felt fine and I went back to sleep um, I had a really horny dream but then I woke up and it was my reality actually... no I had a really sad dream last night dude though. I had a fucked up dream and I explained it to Kai and Kai literally had zero reaction to it and I was like fuck you oh I think I told well, it's you because he's in his time he's heard a lot of dreams Drake literally was <laughs> in my dream like hit, one he was like hitting on me it was like he was like in love with me no, following so it was a PTSD ridden dream no it was like sexy hot like Drake um, Wait, and then, but you've had I, I thought you had sex with Drake. I did. That's why I'm saying I'm dreaming oh. about him. Yeah, it was like good. Um, and then he was like filming me on like a video tape recorder. Um, and then there was like a hole in the ground. Oh my god, I literally almost pissed myself in my dream. Like, <laughs> I, well, I did pee in my dream, but I had. If you see a toilet, if do you see not, one of these, do not use do that motherfucker. Do not use that motherfucker in the dream. And it was like a urinal, like this big on the ground, and I had to like lift up a piece of carpet because it was also surrounded by carpet, and I missed a little and pissed <laughs> into the carpet, and I like peed and started peeing in the hole, and I was like, then my like a. I don't even know. Like, my reality brain was like, wait, like, we're pissing in a dream right now. We need to wake up. So I woke up, and yeah, that's my life. I had a dream that I was dating someone and that they um, um, were being really mean to me. And it scared me, and I woke up, and I was like, ah! <laughs> and that's it. That's all I'll give. That's the only context I'll give. <laughs> that made you really horny. Uck. <laughs> Ew, did you say uck? I said fuck. All right, well. How much time are we at, Kai? Five minutes. Oh, my God. Literally time We've does. We've been talking for five minutes? It's like the kilometers, the pesos to USD, kilometers to miles per hour. Should I twerk on you for the rest of the episode? Minutes are slower here. I'm going to twerk on Drew. Technically, we're three years old on Saturn. <laughs> right? There's no way your mom didn't do meth with you in her stomach. There's, like, actually no way. Where did the fuck did Pam? that come from? I really want to know. I know, like, the conversation we had about it in the car. That was Kai's, like, bar, I think. I don't even remember anymore. My I've life. I don't Kai even, like, that. literally. We're all minors. <laughs> <laughs> We're all, we all are minors on Saturn. If you think about, like, the orbit of it around the sun, like, we are all minors. Um, the thing is, I, like, am well, I Well, actually, I literally am a minor. Toppy right now? I am a minor. Like, I'm turning 16 in March. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm only 15. Guys, I'm literally only 15. I'm so traveled for a 15-year-old. Yeah, you're fucking Neurodivergent. Kai. In Kai's dream, is he 15? Um, okay, the only note I have I already talked about. Yo vien in Los Angeles donde puedo encontrar su mix. Where can I, I was find trying to mix? tell Drew how to translate things. I'm trying to think of anything else that's happened on this trip, but that's kind of been it. Um, I've just found out that I'm like sexy as fuck here. Um, that's a lie. I literally haven't been hit on like that, which is like really sad because I am very sexy. No, I get hit on. You know a what it bunch. is? It's because I'm with y'all. 
It's probably because I'm with Jester, and people think me and Jester are like dating slay. That's a yeah. lie. That is not the fact. That no. is not the fact of the matter. That's actually Jester is my long lost cousin. That's my prima. Prim. No, that, prim. <laughs> that's my prim. <laughs> I, we've it's been so funny at the table. Also, for context, Je uh, Jester is our non-binary homie, and we were sitting at the table, <laughs> and um, Jester kept like saying who we all were to them. So they were like, it's pointed to me. It was like hermana and like pointed to Lisa was like mija and to Drew was like mijo and then to Drew was like papa it was Takai, like or papa. Takai and Drew was like papa and then like the uh, the waiter came with the horchata and was like who's this for he was like papa and like pointed to Kai um, and then Drew tried to do <laughs> the same thing and pointed to me and said mija and then pointed to Justin and went me. <laughs> <laughs> me because how do you get I don't know how to get around that if anybody has any Tips. Any tidbits? Any tips? Me it's ex. so fucking pretty out here. I'm about to pull my fucking coochie out. <laughs> like, what? Should, wait, should I give my? Should I pull my coochie out and give, give it a, her a little rub look? No, give her a look. Give her a taste. <laughs> give her a look. She wants to see. Oh my god, I'm wearing Abercrombie and this is gross. I'm wearing Abercrombie and fit shorts and literally Baby. my big fucking papaya is like pushing. <laughs> like I feel like I'm crowning. I'm literally my coochie is crowning. At no, my you're jeans. chafing the insides. <laughs> I know. My coochie is like grabbing all the fabric and sucking it up like a little vortex. Um, but that's enough about my coochie. Oh, also, Ooh, I will give a, I will a give an update. One. I don't have a UTI. I don't know what was up with my coochie, but like for two days, like it was, she was just not like not on her best behavior. You one, I think you said that before. Two, no, I did not. There's no way I said that. I probably said it. No, go ahead, fucking say it. No, I I said it. In public, I didn't say it on the... Well, this is public. I didn't say it on the podcast. No, go. Go for it. No, 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 no. It's not even my joke. <laughs> no, but say it. You're, you just took up a, a 30 seconds. Say it. What if Elon Musk is an alien trying to get back to his home planet? She's going to impale me on these fucking <laughs> spikes and she's going to put my head on it. Like, I can't believe the things like you only get so many words in your lifetime to say. And the ones you choose to put out are insane. Are the best fucking words. Ever. Point blank period. The best words. I don't know. There's no competition. Don't do that. You're going to fuck up the mics. I mean, I like I am freaking the fuck out because I am literally withdrawing from alcohol. Like... <laughs> No, the alcohol here, like, they see me and they're like, okay, you're a little too drunk. We're going to give you reverse alcohol. And they give you a shot of, like, something that absorb that tastes like alcohol, but it absorbs all your drunkness. It happened to me twice. I will say, whatever was in our drinks yesterday, I had half of mine and I was like, no. You know, oh, also, I realized because when we were at lunch just now and I had half of my margarita, this is going to sound so stupid and obvious because alcohol is technically, it dehydrates you. But that's why my contacts were getting so fucking dry was because I was drinking that margarita and my contacts were already dry when I got to the table. So I just kept drinking and like being like, oh, if I get past the sleepy stages, like I'll get drunk and I can go out. But as I kept drinking, my contacts just kept drying and drying and drying. And that's what I just figured out is that the things you put in your body do have effects. Which I haven't found that with wiener. Penis. <laughs> Can I have a penis colada, please? <laughs> <laughs> Un penis colada. <laughs> Un penis culo, please. <laughs> he said, oh my god. Un penis culito, please. <laughs> That's good. Gracias. That's not good. Gracias. Un pinga culito, please. Un pezón in mi culo. That doesn't. That means nipple. Like you, we already went over this. No, I know. I just like saying it. Okay, well, I think that's it for this episode because we literally have nothing else to talk about. We are so brain dead. Um. No, no media this week. Sorry, guys. Peace and no love. No media. I've just been off my phone because I've been living life. I have also been off my phone. I'm gonna give y'all. Um, I want to stand up to go get my phone, but my whole coochie will be out because I definitely have a big fat camel toe right okay. now. Okay. How do you say the new Echo Why song? Why are you looking? Oh my God, Kai was literally No, just he looking. did not. He was. 
I miss Camel. What was the other thing? Oh, when I was sitting on the couch and he's he looked at my butt and he was like, "You're gonna fart on me." And he literally Yo, looked at my fucking hole did. right in the eye. He did. It was crazy. Kai, Kai wants to get eye contact with my holes. It's crazy, actually. <laughs> the the looking hole. That's what he through wants. the looking glass. <laughs> through the looking glass. Can you give me my phone from over there? Um, it's behind you in my bag. Okay. Well, I am gonna say. I, I already said all these songs. The new Blade and Echo song is really sick. Amy Is that the one that's Gigala. like, I want it. Uh, uh, I want it. Iconic. Iconic. Uh, uh, I, I want it. That. I want it. I want it. Uh, uh, I want it. Oh, Kai's wearing Iconic. different pants today. Iconic. Uh, uh, Iconic. Kai lied to me. And when we were at the airport, because we were at the airport alone together for a minute, because y'all had to like, I had to go somewhere else Did to drink my bag. Anything? And he came with me. Yes, during TSA, they had to pat him down. And I was like, no, I'll do it. And I did pat Kai wow. down. <laughs> um, but your mom. I put a bunch of pain colors, killers into my brother's soup when I was 14 years old. And he Wait overdosed. Wait a second. I'm going to end my life. <laughs> <laughs> The the fucking Good reservation. Good thing we had an The reservation Finn got me. He got it on February fifth instead of March fifth. So I just got a text from Carbone saying you're <sighs> running an hour late. Oi. Whatever. Vey. I'll text him. That's awful. Um, but the new Blade song is really nice. Oh, so funny. by Sierra. Is oh, really nice. That, that's what Kai told me. Kai was like, I he had a new shirt on. And I was like, oh my god, finally, like new shirt. It's like, did you bring new shirts? And he lied to me and he said he had new shirts for every day. He was oh here. yeah, he was like, I got a new fit every fucking. Oh my god, man, this is so beautiful. I just can't, can't I know. get enough of it. It's making me really horny. It's fucking beautiful out here. Um, my songs of the week. I think I already said this in the last episode. I, I didn't don't even remember. finish. Oh my God! You—he had so long. Am I tripping? No, so because you literally over—you talked over me for like thirty fucking minutes just now. How does it feel? It, it does not. You literally talk over me every fucking time I speak. Literally, when I fuck you, bitch. When I speak, Drew literally is like. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. But it adds to the ambience. Like yours no, yeah, just so cuts mine. me off viciously. Yours confuses me and makes it hard for me to focus. Um, I'm this I'm, is I'm, romance. I'm not kidding. Tommy I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I'm staying in Mexico. I'm not going back to LA. Find someone else to do the podcast. Girl, okay, Kai, actually, the podcast come is on. mine. Kai. You go start another. Actually, Kai, that's another on. thing. They started a podcast without me. I went <laughs> into the room and they were filming something without me. No. And they had their clothes we on, were, so it wasn't sex again. We we did five episodes. <laughs> They're all a minute long each. We're testing out a new format of podcast. We'll play one here. Kai, there's Beatles under the bed. Okay, uh, Mike Kai, check. Beatles under the bed. The Episode one you. of Drew and Kai's competing podcast to Emergency Intercom, which is all about guy stuff. I tried to kill myself last week. <sighs> man. Do you know why? I really wanted this to be a, like a fun one. Do you want to know why? Why? Do you want to know how? How, how or why? How which one? and why? You can choose one. Why? I woke up in the middle of the night. Okay. And I walked into the kitchen and I saw what I thought was a ghost, but it was an intruder. And the intruder looked at me and spoke in tongue or binary or I, I couldn't describe it, but it was almost like a Morse code. Okay. Um, like clicking. Um, and the clicks for some reason resonated with me. And they said, kill your family or kill yourself. Choose oh. one. Um, so I tried to kill myself and okay. it didn't work. And I later learned that it was a schizophrenic delusion. And now I am on antipsychotics. Okay, cool. Have you ever tried to kill yourself? I, I did, yeah. I did attempt. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning no, in. You have to dive in. Uh, please, please, they're please. They're only a minute. Please, please dive in. On the next episode. Oh my God. It's just, it just so happens that you always go first. What's the opposite of emergency intercom? Like calm, calm vibes. Um, thanks again, guys, for tuning in to Chill Quiet Announcement. Let me know what you think. Actually, we probably won't stop it there. because I know there's going to be comments who are like, I would watch a podcast with just you two and I will kill myself. I will actually commit suicide. 
I will kill myself. And that is a threat to all of you. And I'm not kidding. Girl, I would never leave you. I would never cheat on you. You know this. You like, would cheat on me. You're my only one. I swear to God. You're I a swear. Slut. Look you at would me. Cheat on me. No, <laughs> look at slut. me in the eyes. I swear I would never ever do that. You, to you. looked away. <laughs> Why did you look away? You're a slut. Because I'm scared of eye contact with pretty women. No, I would never would cheat, cheat on you. I swear on my entire You're life. You're looking through me. I'm You're not. I'm looking, looking at your beautiful right brown now. eyes. <laughs> I'm literally. My eyes are blue. Imagine. I would never <laughs> cheat on you. <laughs> Ew, Trey, you scaring me. Um, I think I said this last episode, but I'm getting used to you by Celine. I thought the camera said something, and I was like, if we're not recording, oh, I actually will jump off. I will building. literally I jump, jump I would onto right the tower. Onto the fucking cobblestone. <laughs> I would know. The thing what I would do is I would get on the next level up and, <laughs> and dive. Then jump. Dive into the pool head first. I'm getting used to you by Selena. Unhappy Crack by, by Outcast. School. I don't want to play around by Ace Spectrum. And for the hungry boy, Johnny Greenwood. Nice. And I have not watched anything. A single movie. I've just been, I've been watching this. D- that's what I said earlier. Like, why do we need entertainment? You kissed my fingers and they were all over this grubby ass floor. I don't care. Um, I said this earlier, like, why do we need entertainment in movie and TV shows when our eyes are the television and what we see <laughs> is the show and we should just absorb okay. all the content around us? Yeah, no, how the fuck do our eyes work? Like, actually, <laughs> like, genuinely, like, that does not make sense. Like, Well, it's because after we got iPhones, we put them in our heads. No, it does not make fucking sense. Like, at all. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back. They have next Bluetooth episode. towers here. I mean, um, <laughs> 5G towers here. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. You can't guys escape next week. it. I'll see you next week if I decide to go back to LA. Um, if I die young. No, if when I die, die young, bury me in silence. Oh, satin, satin. Bury me in satin. Lay me down. No, no. Bury me in silence. Lay me down in a bed of satin. On a bed of roses. <laughs> Fucker, motherfucker. I don't fucking I know. I was singing it right. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> I know. I keep getting closer and closer to the edges. My my b- fucking I have to secret. fix my big coochie. Maybe we just do a moment like this where we look over. My ass looks really flat in these because they're kids' shorts. Don't look. Kai is looking at my butt again. Keep going. going. Um, (sighs) Life is like a movie. That man's looking at us. Life is like a box of chocolates. Life is like a bucket of chocolates. Life can be whatever you want it to be. I wonder where the chapel is. We didn't get to see it. Life can be. Your own imagination. Damn, it's really pretty out here. It actually is fucking beautiful. I lucky wish we had an extra day because then we could have just stayed in like this Girl, hotel. I'm literally changing my flight. I'm like not even joking. I think you should. I'm not kidding. Really? Actually? Yeah. I Stay can't. one more day. But I couldn't get back to the airport. How the fuck would I get back to the airport? You Uber there. Actually, yeah. But I guess technically Kai would probably want to stay too. Kai, would you stay another day? But then how would we extend the car? I think we could just, you could keep the car for a day and just take it back. Yeah. I mean, that's much a lot to think about. Lots to think. Yeah, why not leave tomorrow night? Low-key vibe. Like, if anything, see if you could change your flight to later. All right. I want to go and climb that mountain. I want to get to the top of it. You see that? cross up there you watch free solo once and you think you're gonna do that like you i could free solo these that. fucking mountains i swear to god i could like i'm not that even guy joking could free solo these he would he would look at these and scoff he would be like these are the easiest fucking he'd be like mountains. i'm getting up there in two minutes yeah no i actually think i could like that's not even a joke no, like you i couldn't. could get up there no i swear to god i could get up to the top if i wanted to that's i'm not even but you want to and you're not doing it that's the funny part well that's there's a difference between want and can like i can between what you want and you need and i and i need you you need me you need me <laughs> she needs me she needs me she's got everything i need Ooh. look you see that thing right there the pool no that's not a pool it's like to wash your clothes and but my grandma had one that was like cemented in the ground in honduras and i used to get in it and i would call it like a piscina because i thought it was a pool mm-hmm. and i'd be like can i please get in it and i would get in it all the time and then i got too big and she'd be like stop fucking around with me you're gonna break my shit you're gonna break my balls. You're bust. You've been busting my balls recently. You've been busting my fucking balls. Well, I'll bust you. I was good. My my wife. Are you gonna buy me something nice at the market or what? 
I've got a thousand more pesos to spend. Are you going to spend them on me? Mm, we'll see. If you're nice. What, what are you going to give me tonight? I can give you something. What are you going to give me tonight? I give you something. This is probably such <laughs> a strange vibe. <laughs> the thing is, for a second, I forgot we were like talking. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just like calling and talking. After I said the imagination thing, like I forgot I was on camera. <laughs> like actually. All right. Imagine all the people. <laughs> wait, wait, I have this idea. Okay, so you know how COVID, you know how COVID is like happening. What if me, you, and all of our influencer friends <laughs> sang the song Imagine? Imagine all, all the, the people. people. And we put it out on the internet, and no, we were like, we're all look, look, like, look. I may be a celebrity, but we are in just this people. together. We're just people. We're people too. And I like, will say our life is affected just as much as yours. No, I, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm better than most people. I'm okay. Sorry, sue me, sue me. I'm not kidding. Like, okay, I you're agree. gonna tell me that I'm not better than most people. I agree. I really am. Like, look at me. I'm on camera right now. I do what I want. I live how I, I'm. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm better um, than you. Especially Kai. I'm better than Kai. Sorry. Um. He can fucking hear you. No, he can't. He literally, we're in his head. If I screamed right now, it'd be over. Okay, should we both scream? Wait, should we? Both do, should we? Please, I don't please, know if we should please, because. Guys, no, yeah, we won't because there's other people. <laughs> 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 Bottle flip challenge. <laughs> Dingy card challenge. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry next about time, this. Next time you see us, we'll be in Brazil. <laughs> Wait, someone commented and was like, Drew's like low key been giving Jesus recently, like slowly transforming into Jesus. And I was like, and someone was like, no, he's like quickly becoming Jesus. And then someone was like, you know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> And then I someone was like, "It's crazy." Comments. He's like making them up. <laughs> no. And then someone was like, "It's crazy because like the next episode he'll probably be like recording in front of a lake or something." Oh, someone did say that, but there is no lake. It's just mountains. Yeah, we're in the most beautiful place on earth. I thought you were gonna try and bottle challenge that over my head. Okay, bye guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Imagine I just like lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Pushed you. <laughs> And I recorded all the way down, and I was like, Enya, why would you do this to me? <laughs> I, yeah. No, he, he swings the mic cable, I, and, and like, I wrap it around your neck. And, like, grabs me. And it slingshots me back <laughs> up, and I'm like, don't fuck with me, bitch. No, but, like, the, the don't mic. Don't fuck with me. The, the mic cable I'm is still on me, and you different. give me a chance, and you pull me up, and you're like, don't fuck with me. And then you push me back down. And then I, what is it? Uh... PJ we, you uh, in Spider-Man. What's your name? PJ. Me. No, what the fuck? You BJ me. No, what's the MJ. girl? MJ. I MJ you and like. Uh, Andrew Garfield type B? It, yeah, but instead of it being spider web, it's cable and you like snap at the bottom. But I still hit my head. And I die. No, but you wake up in another reality. <laughs> okay, no. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>